Hello, welcome back to the workshop. As ever, it is just fantastic to have you here. So yesterday you saw me failing. <laughs> and then, thank goodness, succeeding. Anyway, I'm calling it a great success at making the largest ever billet of Damascus that I've been making. Today I'm going to be continuing on with that. But first, you'll remember I have a massive pile of hammers. They all need to be in boxes because they're leaving tomorrow. About a third or so have been done already. We need to do this. Sam is on his way and I think we'll crack through this pretty nice and fast. Whee! Hey! The man himself, Sam Fowler. Farrier. How you doing, buddy? Right, you? I'm doing great. Oh, we gotta go for a weird elbow handshake then. There Ow. we go. How you doing? Not bad. Kicked by a horse yet today? No, I felt like it though. Oh. The nice thing about editing and video is you don't quite often see some of the difficulties that happen here in the workshop. Sam's now gone, I've eaten a delicious lunch. Very, very good. And um, all of these tools, pardon me, all of these hammers here are yet to go in boxes. There were issues where for some reason this stuff, there weren't shipping labels printed. Over here we weren't able to get them in boxes in time. And there are a few that require some more work. On this, I need to char the handle. Over here, when I charred the handle last time, there were some rough spots, so I've refinished this, refinished that, refinished this. I'm gonna char some more handles, and then from there, we should be good to throw these in boxes, add that to that pile, and then tomorrow morning, first thing, 7.30. Sam and I are gonna come in, make sure we got the right shipping labels for the pile that's over there, Put those in boxes, add them to that pile. Courier will probably arrive in, you know, the mid-afternoon and we'll be all set. <laughs> tomorrow from where you were last. We're still here, we're still packing boxes, and it's still taking a really long time, but we're getting there slowly. Packing boxes is not as easy as you'd think it is. No. 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 We'll press on. Look at that sexy hammer. Mmm! I'm always really sad when I ship out hammers. I kind of want to keep all of them and just put them on like a daily rotation here in the workshop. Um, sadly, somebody else gets to own this beauty. Great work, Sam. Look at that pile of boxes. That is a mountainous pile of boxes. Holy moly. That is a lot of work. Just putting them in boxes. Mm. Just putting them in boxes took... How many hours do you reckon we spent putting them in boxes? Six, seven hours? Yeah, something like that. By the time we did the live show yesterday, afternoon and this morning. We both got here at 7.30. I was at... I was 7.35. Don't look at me like that. I've already... I did an hour in the gym. So I have... I have excuses, kind of. But we are both here at set. he was here at 7.30, I was here at 7.35. Started putting this stuff in boxes. What time's it now? Half eight, quarter nine. 
half eight now. Sam's gonna go and do his real stuff, which is shooting horses and getting kicked in the face by horses. Um, <laughs> but all this is ready to go. The courier's suspension is probably going to break, but I think he'll be quite happy. It'll be a good payday for him. And, uh, and yeah, it's good to have everything done. You remember on that last, uh, one of the last vlogs, I talked about how my inverter, my variable frequency drive here, is, uh, is a little broken. This switch here is loose. I need to get the cover off. Now, a lot of you guys suggested, Alec, just get in there and take the cover off. It'll be fine. I can't take the cover off. It's really difficult. So, but it, it kind of works. If I pull out, it works every time I switch it, so I'm going to keep using it until it doesn't work at all. Um, just so that I'm never in a bad place, I ended up ordering myself another drive. This one is actually IP66. This is IP55. The IP rating is uh, corresponding to how water or dust proof it is. So IP55 is really just kind of dust proof. IP66, you can also spray it down with a power hose, which is which is pretty cool. I don't intend to need to do that, but it means that there's more protection against ingress of dirt and dust, which is good. So this is gonna be a backup, and I'm gonna throw it underneath there until that one breaks. One day, I think it would have probably been two or three years ago after having just moved into this workshop, I needed a, uh, I needed a dust pan. I didn't like the idea of buying things. And I had a piece of stainless steel sheet, so I made this, beat it away on it for an entire evening and made myself a dustpan. And I love making things. You know, even though this is a, a ratty dustpan that's really not that great, it's so satisfying every time I use it knowing that I spent a whole evening, I spent hours beating away at this thing because I don't know how to do any sheet metal work. So I just beat away, beat away, I ch cold chiseled it the thing out of the plate, you can see. You can see the marks here from where it was chiseled. So I cold chiseled this thing out of the plate, and though it's pretty terrible, I just love using it. Two days running. My workshop feels awesome. Yesterday, after boxing all the hammers, obviously it got, it, it, was, a, it was a complete, uh, it was a complete pigsty in here. But now I've tightened up again, and still, I feel just as ecstatic as I felt yesterday when I tidied the workshop on the last episode. So great! This is all great. A lot of you guys were asking me if the big billet of Damascus that uh, broke apart can be salvaged. Absolutely not. You can see the grain structure from the end and how crystallized this steel is. It's completely burnt, it's been cooked way too hot, and it has completely fallen apart. There's no welding this together. All the carbon will have likely been burn at, burnt out of it, as far as I can understand. And this is just completely unsalvageable. You can see just how badly those, uh, those cracks have opened it up. Same applies to the other half of the billet. Absolutely no salvaging of this, sadly. All it's good for is paperweight or scrap. Okay, so I want you guys to do me a favor. Now that making videos is like all I'm gonna be doing because those hammers are out of the way and now it's just me here making videos for you guys. I wanna make sure that every day I'm putting out the quality content. So what I wanna do is every so often, once a week or so, you know, cause there are times where I absolutely can't make a video, but there are times like today where, okay, I don't necessarily have a lot of content cause I've been busy doing other things, but there's always a lot of great stuff to talk about and a lot of great questions to be answered. And I wanna know those questions. So, so here's how you can help me. About once a week or so, I'm gonna let you all know that I have a Q and A portion to a video coming up very soon. And what I'd really like you to do is use hashtag uh, less yak yak. Ironically, that will create more yak yak and less whack whack, but it's better than none at all. So use hashtag less yak yak and ask me a question on Instagram or Twitter or under the video where I'm asking about it. Um, on Instagram and Twitter, you know, it's easy to find me. You type in my name, you'll find me. And I'd love to get some great questions so that I can give you some great answers. You know, this is what I'm doing all the time now. 
now the focus is on making as good a quality content as possible. Now the hammers are out of the way, this month has included a lot of hammer making, almost mostly hammer making, than other things, and of course the aim is to get back into doing the exciting and, and, and crazy fun projects that, the re that, is, that are the reason that you subscribed. So I'm looking forward to doing that. I'm also looking forward to having a Q&A component be a regular feature. Be sure to follow me on Instagram and on Twitter. Remember, it is hashtag less yak yak. And that's how you get your questions to me. I'm looking forward to answering them. I think it's going to be a really exciting segment. I have lots to talk about. And, and I'm, I, I just love to hear what it is that you want me to talk about. And again, I just want to extend my massive gratitude to those of you that have bought these hammers from me. I'm so sorry to uh, those of you that are wanting to buy hammers from me. Um, but it is focus on the YouTube for now. I'm sure you can appreciate. And I am looking forward to seeing you tomorrow more than ever because now this is the uh, this is the freedom and uh, and the opportunity to put as much effort into you guys here in the YouTube lands as possible so as ever I really appreciate your shares on my videos I really appreciate your likes really appreciate your wonderful insights in the comments sections love interacting you on interacting with you all on the other social media platforms and as ever I'm really looking forward to seeing you tomorrow more work it was actually technically today I'm about to start filming tomorrow's video today but more work on the hinges is going to continue working on the Damascus thank you very much again thank you to everybody the board hammer thank you for everybody that's always liking commenting sharing and subscribing I will see you tomorrow bye bye